NextGear Capital is committed to the success of independent dealers nationwide. From market trends to industry expertise and best-in-class support, they ensure each of their clients are getting more than just a line of credit. Check out all the ways dealers are getting more at nextgearcapital.com. This is Automotive Industry News. Welcome to Automotive Industry News, I'm Amy Cook. Our top stories, Ford builds a special Mustang for a special cause, and Nissan delivers to a Japanese police department. But first, the annual NIADA National Policy Conference is quickly approaching. This important event helps frame the NIADA legislative and regulatory policy agenda for the upcoming year and beyond. It gives independent auto dealers the opportunity to meet with legislators and tell their stories and make their voices heard in Washington, D.C. The National Policy Conference is coming up September 24 through the 26th. To learn more and to register, visit www.niadapolicyconference.com. Space is limited, so register today to be a part of the year's most impactful event for the used vehicle industry. Automotive Industry News will be right back. Next Year Capital is very uh, digitalized and you can print out a report, print out a copy of a title, future payments. We have access to all that stuff via a computer or through our rep. Von Gitten Jr. and Ford Performance have built a special Mustang for a special cause. Dubbed the Eagle Squadron Mustang, the vehicle pays homage to the original Eagle Squadron from World War II. The squadron of U.S. volunteer pilots teamed up with the Royal Air Force in various combat missions, including missions near the airfields of Goodwood, where the Mustang recently participated in the Goodwood Festival of Speed. That was just a pit stop, however, before the vehicle heads to the auction block in a charity event to raise funds for the Experimental Aircraft Association. The Mustang is our iconic sports car. So we've used that for a number of years now with um, EAA. Uh, Ford is a big sponsor of EAA. Ford has been involved with Air Venture and the EAA for over 10 years now. Ford was in aviation for a very long time, so it's a natural fit for us. So this particular year, uh, there's the 100 year anniversary of the RAF. We thought it would be great to figure out a way to tie our vehicle to that 100th anniversary. And when we were doing some research, we found out about the Eagle Squadron, which was a, a group of pilots, American pilots, that were over in England um, during World War II before the U.S. entered the war, um, and were actually flying Spitfires um, in the RAF. We teamed up with Juan Gittin Jr., super car guy, enthusiast, Mustang driver, drifter, um, and builder for us, and we took a Mustang and converted it into a Spitfire. I was ecstatic when Ford approached my team at RTR Vehicles to collaborate with them on building a tribute to the Eagle Squadron. Spitfire translates really well, and this is a full camel car, and with the wider wheel flares that we're putting on the car and everything, it just, it does have a relationship to the plane. And to do a livery that um, coincides with something as significant as the Eagle Squadron and the RAF, it doesn't happen very often, so for us it's just a great opportunity. Working on a project of this magnitude that means so much, that's going to do so much for charity and also honor some great men. More in a moment. Next Year Capital is very uh, digitalized and you can print out a report, print out a copy of a title, future payments. We have access to all that stuff via a computer or through our rep. Drivers in Japan have a new reason to watch their rearview mirror. Speeders beware. Nissan recently donated a new GTR supercar to the Tochigi Prefectural Police Department. With the donation, Nissan marks 50 years of operation at the Minyokawa facility nearby. Local police officers were excited to see the GTR with its 565 horsepower engine join their fleet, though the car will likely be used primarily as a promotional piece among Japanese youth. That's all for this edition of Automotive Industry News. Thanks for watching. I'm Amy Cook.